and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some abs and angels. Uh, so this donation deck is really similar to the four color angel command that we played yesterday that, you know, had all of our, uh, had our explore creatures, all of our angels, and then had the combo of Soren to help give our creatures lifelink and, uh, be able to return some creatures from the graveyard to the battlefield and of course command the dread horde at the top end and it went pretty well the explore package plus the angels plus soren all of that was was really awesome honestly um and this version uh, was donated by another person that is kind of taking that deck that we played yesterday and removing the red color from it to try to make it more uh just more reliable mana base with the three colors um, which I like. I think that everything that you need in the deck is, can just be here in the three colors. Um, there's a couple of cards that I don't love, but you know I want to play play some games here and see. Uh, first, I I really wish that we had more to do on turn one and two than just like the eight two drops. I am a little concerned that we're just going to be kind of far behind or just our, our curve is going to be too high in general. Like our average curve is 3.5, which is quite a bit. I don't love Angel of Grace. It's okay, but I, I don't think it needs to be two of and, and maybe zero. Um, not not super in love with Angel of Grace. Uh, not sure if Oketra if will be casting a lot of creatures after Oketra, but Oketra is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish we had a little bit more earlier, and maybe maybe we don't need the Angel of Graces. I think that's like the the biggest thing in the main deck but we're, we're gonna play these out and see how it goes and i kind of actually want more sorens like Sor we had four sorens yesterday in the deck and the card was just awesome all the time so maybe even like another soren instead of an angel angel of grace and then something else early like a paradise druid or um or cast down or anything like that uh, as far as sideboard wise goes looks all looks pretty good i think that the vivian's arc bow uh, like having Vivian's Arcbow, Gideon, Carnage Tyrant, Ugin, like these are all like anti-control cards and that's maybe just too much anti-control and not the same with Duress. There's, I mean, even Elder Spell, that's anti-control. There's basically, for aggro, we just have two cast down and then, you know, an Assassin's Trophy if we want that, but that's all we have for aggro. And so I'm thinking that maybe we need more for aggro in the sideboard here. Um... So those are going to be some things that we'll be thinking about whenever we play the deck here. But I like the shell. I like the Explore Creatures, Angels, Soren and Command. It's pretty nice. We had a good time with that yesterday. Let's let's try it out with just three colors, see how it goes here. Yeah, we have we have a lot of like double white cards, which is kind of tough for Land of War Elf. I want to switch up a Johnny too. We'll head on over to Kaya with having the Kaya sleeves. Nothing phases me. In our Abzan deck, but I would like honestly, I would like to have Land of War Elves um, in this deck. Honestly, I think I think that playing Land of War Elf is better than not playing Land of War Elf, even with the mana situations we have with so much double white um, and white black and things like that. That is true that our, our explore package should help us hit our land drops for our, our higher curve. That's very true. Yeah, Gabriel, we did good with Ban Arcbow earlier. Would you put a Gideon in question is would you put a Gideon into an Esper Super Friends deck maybe in the sideboard I think that you'd want basically you want Gideon in that kind of deck against other control decks but it's not going to be Gideon is basically good whenever you're the aggressor and you have like other creatures uh, that you get to um, you know use with your Gideon activation and and be aggressive with that but if you're being a super friends deck that's a very defensive deck that's just trying to stay alive and uh, take over a game with a whole lot of 
with a whole lot of planeswalkers, and Gideon doesn't help you do that. So if they have another 3 damage burn spell, they can use that plus Firebrand. Goblin Crater Maker. Making an appearance. Sleeves are pretty cool. Wizard's Lightning and Chain Whirler. Unfortunately, I'm not going to really command the Dread Horde here. Maybe next turn. Pay three life, get a Resplendent Angel into play? Maybe. Would really like to draw a Soren or a Wild Growth Walker first. Hmm. Should not have played that land for my hand. Wanderer in this deck. I could see like a I could see one or two wanderers, especially like one wanderer in the sideboard. I like wanderer as a sideboard card. Perfect. Flame of Keld. No! My Mortify. No! Flame of Keld, no! Well, this Flame of Kel could get our opponent into this. You know, all their things are going to do two extra damage this next turn. So basically, any burn spell will kill Shalai, and then Firebrand kills her Splendid Angel. Oh, they only need to Bane Fire for two there. Hmm. I don't think they exactly knew how their card worked. Well, that's game. Because they could have sacked Firebrand and killed Resplendent Angel that previous turn. Alright, so we have basically cast down, and I guess trophy here boat uh 
Take out Oketra. I mean, we do have, like, all the angels are all very good here. We'll take out Command the Dreadhorde and Oketra. Um, anything else we want to do? Do I want Duress instead of uh, Champion of the Wilds? No, I think I want Champion of the Wilds. Yeah, let's let's keep it like this. Champion of the Wilds can help us find Shalai and Lyra. Hey, Jelly. Streaming Todd to my TV. Nice end of a really productive day. Man, glad to hear that. Gotta love those pr productive days. Good. Oh wait, they already played their land for turn? Right, yeah, they did. So only getting one land out of that light of the stage. That's good light up the stages for us. <clears throat> More lands and flame flame of Keld. Don't expect them to uh, get rid of to get rid of their entire hand for flame of Keld, but I could see that happening. I think I'm going to take this here and just see if they do play the Flame Akeld. If they do, then we're going to have the Mortify for it. Okay, they're not playing the Flame Akeld. I have not seen that show, Shekel. Chernobyl. I would assume it's about really like the only thing that Chernobyl is known for. The uh, power plant there. Ah, Goblin Warchief. So that's why there was a Goblin Crater Maker previously. Man, this is some bad luck for us here. We kept a three lander on the draw and can't get this other land. All right, there we go. Um, Go Sarah for the scales. This is looking good for us. I think we got this. We'll see if they have more Bane Fires. I certainly need to kill this frenzy. So let's just do that. They said no, no basic land. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. The weak feed the strong. 
So next turn. Okay. So game's not over. So my plan was to be able to get Resplendent Angel the next turn, like play Lyra, attack them for four lifelink. Um, but yeah, this is... <laughs> this still works just fine. So much lifelink. Okay, repeating barrage. Deals three damage. No, we did not play, uh, we didn't play the five uh, Angel of Grace. We saw Angel of Grace and scried Angel of Grace to the bottom so we played all the angels except for Angel of Grace and then scried Angel of Grace to the bottom. So yeah, I think we were playing against a little bit of a newer opponent there that uh, was just kind of playing some of the red cards they had to finish out the their red deck. Yeah, Mono Green Tron tomorrow. I'll play some of the decks from the Arena uh, MCQ this weekend that uh, were posted tomorrow. So we'll play Mono Green Tron. Um, and we're going to play the Gruel deck with Living Twister. So Gruel Twister. Got those two on the schedule for sure. Well, I guess I don't play Vivian. Or do I? Yeah, I'll play Vivian. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Starting over is the only way. We'll have Sarah for the scales next turn to block Knight of Autumn. Ow. Scars are lessons written in skin. <laughs> Have you ever lost a home? So I'm not playing around Frilled Mystic, but I am playing around uh, other enchantment removal. Through this land, we are all connected. Rise, my elemental friend. We get to eat a land, so we'll do that. I always survive. Sorry, Vivian. You'll see. So, do I want ninety grace? Let us talk. Or Seraph of the Scales. 
I think Angel of Grace because of them making another 3-3 three, three and attacking with it, which is kind of likely. It looks like maybe they're just going to go with a big crisis. Hopefully not. Please, no crisis. That's a tilt. That was the reason to play Seraph with the scales, though. Seraph could have had Death Touch. And still attacked in at the Nissa here. So wrong decision again, specifically um, Hydroicrasis the there. Not so much. Not looking good. Uh, <laughs> I would say Archmage charm is much closer to being Strike unplayable now. than hard. well not let me reset I don't think it's nearly as good as cryptic command I think cryptic command is is very very strong and like that and I like that card more Okay. So I'm just trading with Knight of Most likely game if they just have a bunch of other creatures. And that's a bunch of other creatures. Good game. Alright, get an Angel of Grace out of here. And so I want to play Elder Spell. Kinda wanna play Elder Spell. I don't know, this is going to be tough. 
all, so many of these cards are just you know situational we can like have just be sitting with elder spells and they just play a bunch of mana creatures and then oketra and and everything and hmm Definitely need to be able to, like, kill Krasis, which we can't. So I guess we need to play Cast Down so we have removal for Krasis, besides, like, these Mortifies. I don't know. It's going to be tough. Let's see. One other spell, one cast down. All right, two of each. We're, we're going with just two elder spell, two cast down. I'm taking out Vivian also. But I mean, I. We can get to the point like where Ugin resolves. Ugin could take over. I don't know. It's tough. Love it. Love having Soren. Hopefully we can get ahead here with Shalai and Lyra where we don't need a Elder Spell. Our opponent, of course, should just be activating their Growth Chamber Guardian here. All right, if you haven't uh, put in the, if you haven't voted, whoops, wrong thing. But there we go. If you haven't voted into the straw poll of what day you want our sub battle stream to be, make sure you do that with hitting the sub goal today. We got enough sub goals to do another sub battle stream. It's where I just play against subscribers all stream. And we have a whole lot of, of fun with it. We have team chat versus team Todd there. And so you can select as many days from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, whichever day works for you. All right, can we outrace Oketra? Let's see if you're worthy. You can still walk away.
All right, so the Oketra has Vigilance and Reach and Double Strike. Squirrels hit harder. Unfortunately, we don't really have things in the graveyards right now. Like, don't have anything really that good to get with the Soren. Vivian's pretty perfect here, giving Oketra reach to stop my Dawnbringer. Uh, as far as like what we want to draw, I honestly don't really know. We don't have any like big card draw spell, like a Krasis kind of thing in this deck. Um, Command the Dreadhorde's not really going to do anything for us right now. I uh, could find, like, Shalai would be nice, because then we can start activating Shalai. Mortify would also destroy the Prism Realm and get us a Shalai. Resplendent Angel can help us, you know, like, we can gain life and start making more angels. So I think Resplendent Angel and, Tear it down. Tear it all down. and Shalai, those are probably the cards we want to be drawing the most. We might as well explore, try to set up our next draw step. Yeah, it, it honestly doesn't make sense why Oketra doesn't have Reach to begin with. But, I mean, Double Strike is certainly stronger than Reach. But, I mean, just... It's a god with, like, that huge bow and arrow. And it, even in the story, was, you know, shot like the Pegasus throughout, like, down... Like, in the, the story in some of the comments, you know, shot the Pegasus out of the air, like Gideon's Pegasus. It's like, why... Why does Oketra not have Reach? So yeah, if, if Oketra had Reach and First Strike instead of Double Strike? That's what you're asking? I don't know if First Strike's really a white keyword. There is wonder in a blade of grass. But maybe they could have fumbled with some of the numbers and everything and been able to uh, make it have uh, reach. We need find finality in this deck. What we're missing here. We need fine finality.
think they have another Oketra. It certainly seems like. All right, so that will get them Oketra back with that minus. Really hope they don't have another Frilled Mystic. Cast Dawnbringer plus Resplendent Angel next turn. All right, no attacks. Really use another command the dread horde right about now. The mysteries of life are endless. Really, really use command the dread horde. Gains three life. It's not enough to trigger resplendent angel. I don't think I hold on to it though. I'm glad we didn't hold on to it.
Alright, getting Vivian out of here. Yeah, we need... Yeah, we need fine finality. Like, we need, like, the finality. Get rid of all these 4-4s. Four so trading Dawnbringer for... Vivian. And maybe they'll flood out here in the next few draws. I don't no, I don't play modern anymore, no time. I'm a standard player on arena. So of course we need Command the Dread Horde. That's our card that we need to draw. Hey boy, boy de boy. I don't really know why our opponent didn't attack there or anything, but yeah, now yeah, we actually had lethal in the air. Just realized that too, like whenever they, they were saying oops, I was just counting that up. I was like, wait a minute, they don't have any blockers. They don't have any flying blockers. I think Jeskai Walkers is okay. I don't think it's... I don't think it's like one of the very best decks. I think it's uh, exploitable. But it's... It's okay. I think it was good a couple weekends ago. It was really a good spot when people weren't as ready for it. Hmm. I don't need some arc bows. Okay. Help turn lands in, in the later game into more things. I'm going to play a couple arc bows. Is it? Expecting the uh, battlefield to kind of get uh, gummed up like it was before. All right, well, this is looking really good. We have an arc bow, and they have five cards. And feeling good about arc bow against five cards. We'll get that arc bow in play. <clears throat> Not playing the branch walker, because I'll probably just be discarding the branch walker to activate arc bow. So plan here is like Jade Light on three, Seraph on four, and then starting turn five, just activating Arpo all the time. I think that's the plan. Hmm. All right, plans changed. I think they just have, I mean, they could, of course, have Frilled Mystic, but I think they're just activating the Incubation Druid.
So like Hydrocrasis and Oketra are the two cards I do not want to see. Those are the two cards I don't want to see because they, they, they do get to get a whole bunch more Growth Chamber Guardians. more reliable than humans. Hmm. This is All really looking like a frilled mystic with tapping like that. In nature. Jade Light. Don't really want to cast things. Hmm. Okay, we'll take it. Get Vivian out of here. Not the trade I'll take. Yet. Branch Walker for Vivian. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Don't worry. I got this. Continuing on here. I still have a whole lot of mana. And a good amount of cards too. Especially the Growth Chamber Guardians only could not basically have two more cards in hand eventually. That's not good. So we got seven mana, so I'm going to activate Arc Bow for seven <clears throat> here, where eight mana I can double spell with Shalai and Seraph. Yeah, our opponent certainly has a, a ton of mana. Ooh, that's not good. Activating July and everything.
That's a good one. So, of course, we're going to play Resplendent Angel here. That was a great turn. So much life link in the air. <clears throat> so they can activate their Shalai, but we can activate ours also and the Lyra also is pumping ours. So that was that was a, just a great turn, hitting the, the Lyra off of Arcbow, which was like our best hit, and then drawing Resplendent Angel. That was just pretty perfect. <laughs> well, that card doesn't really do anything. One mana away from activating Shalai and casting Seraph. They're just taking this. <laughs> 59. The angels can do. Angels can take over. Doesn't like basically doesn't matter how many Oketra zombie tokens they have. They could get, you know, like ten more of them and we'd be perfectly fine. I'm going to be activating Arcbow for five here also. I mean, basically the only thing that can save our opponent is like a, a time wipe, like some kind of a sweeper like that. It's the only thing that can save them. doesn't do anything because it should lie cool this is this is how the matchup usually went for you when you were play testing this one yeah Lyra and Resplendent Angel those two are a combination that just take over all right two and oh It's a real nice combination. Yeah, and Arcbow is really nice. Arcbow finding them. I mean, I'm a big fan of Arcbow. I think it's really nice, but I, I really can't just see Arcbow being better than the other Vivian in this deck, honestly. Arcbow being better than three mana Vivian. All 
Alright, let's find land drops. Green mana. Find a forest. You're not a forest. Get over there. Forest. Very good. Actually, I like getting two lands uh, against like the most likely an Esper control deck, but it, you know, obviously it can be hero deck as well. I'll show restraint. Here goes nothing. This is hardly my worst defeat. Dovin. Okay, as for walkers. This battle to your record, looking to elevate yourself. Uh, perhaps a pair of stilts. So, Esper walkers. How much do I want to put on the battlefield? If that's your best. I needn't worry. So against like a sweeper. Probably enough there. <laughs> when you first saw Arkpo, Arc you didn't see the discard part. So you're like, that looks pretty good. Angel. There are many who have turned weakness into a virtue. I These won't forget our are an anomaly not to be repeated. That was a good jade light there. Get that divination. I'm known for my excellent timing. This might be a bad idea. Matter of time. Hmm. This isn't a you know what? They're just trying to keep their head above water here. We're just going to keep on attacking these planeswalkers. No, playing that Seraph is pretty greedy.
And honestly, maybe I should just I could attack them down to one and play the other Seraph like where we'd have even if, like through a Wrath we'd have all those other uh, creatures. But I just like getting all the Teferis out of there. All right, lots of spells, and actually I don't really want trophy. I do want elder spells. <clears throat> we have so many things to bring in here. So many things. So, how many creatures is this? 31? So I probably want to cut like 8 creatures at most. But that means I have to cut 4 spells. I don't even know what spells I would cut. I mean, I guess mortifies. This is 63. And I do like Angel of Grace being instant speed. Because that's less valuable with Teferi running around, though. All right, here we go. Yeah, you have a, a an absolute ton for Esper control here in the sideboard. I think I think too much. I think we have too much for this matchup. <clears throat> but hopefully we win it. Be sad if we have too much and don't win it. Branch Walker's a good draw. Help. Help us curve out. I know my responsibility. Here we go. May the gods bless us in our righteous cause. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. Let's try this. Soren. All right, keep them from being able to target Gideon Blackblade. We will meet again. Bravery wasn't enough. It's a nice one. Your light will cleave the darkness. Round. 
Go, Gideon, go! I can no longer stand. You need to take a time out. Boo. Boo again. When you understand reality, only time I will tell. can create or destroy. All right. And the Gideon was awesome. Yeah, definitely really liked that Gideon there in that game. Um. I think the card in the sideboard against control that I don't really like, that I think is just kind of unnecessary, is the Carnage Tyrants. I don't think that really helps us out too much. And I think that's that's the card that I don't think is necessary in the sideboard. Is It's not that high of an up upgrade over the cards we're, we're, not, uh, we're not playing in that matchup, and it's basically only for that matchup. It's not really for anything else. Yeah, Liliana's better against creature decks, where Ugin's better against the Planeswalker decks. Oh no. Turn one Llanowar Elf. That's so hard to beat. Turn one Llanowar Elf, no. Nullhide Ferox. That's a beast. Jade Light's the perfect card to draw. So we have our best turn two and turn three play in our deck. And we have our best late game card. We're going to have Wildgrowth Walker plus Branch Walker next turn. Uh, next turn, I will be getting rid of any card that's not a land. Like, just actual any card that's not a land to try to get towards command. This looks like... So this is just a mono green Stompy deck. Unfortunately, Wild Growth Walker is hecka good against Mono Green. Looks like they get to smash in for six here, and we're just going to gain that six life back. I guess another Explore creature would be one that I would keep over a land there in particular a jade light even run for them in your version of band arc bow when so many games yeah it it certainly can um especially against like the spell heavy decks it's just so good it hits real hard really hard to deal with Can arc bow away your spells. Um, to help it out too. Like have you ever had like two cards in hand, like a Ferox and something else, and you have no mana, but you just arc bow for zero and ditch like whatever other card you have like in response to a thought erasure so they have to choose your null hide and put it into play that's a fun one
So, of course, my plan was just to activate Resplendent Angel, gain five, make another angel. But I guess since we have... To lose to you. you fight like a city brat. Since we have another Resplendent Angel, we should just play that so we can make two angels next turn. But yeah, this one is Ova. Our hand was pretty perfect there with those Wild Growth Walkers and everything. I think the mono green deck should be a really good matchup for us. Don't even need to activate your Splendid Angel. Let me show you what was lost. All right, okay, we're going to sideboard. Yeah, gain eight life, make two five five flying vigilant life linkers. I'm just gonna bring in cast down over Vivian and call it a day. Do I want trophy over an angel of grace? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the Vivian, uh, if, if we're behind, we're not going to be protecting that Vivian. Uh, I don't think it's going to really be helping us win games that we wouldn't otherwise win kind of thing. Uh, but we need the removal spells early. You know, Steel Leaf Champion, Nullhide Ferox, those cards can certainly win games. Um, <clears throat> if they're out early and everything, so we want those cast downs for them. Not, this is a hand that could lose. It's not perfect. But one Jade Light would make this a whole lot better. That's, that's good enough. That at least gives us our second White Source there. Hey, the Goat Boat. Staying on that six-month streak. Thanks, Goat Boat. Sub number 12 on the day, bringing those hype boats. No. 12. Yeah, Steel Leaf is going to be kind of tough. We'll have the Seraph in a couple of turns to block it. Well, maybe not block it. The best shell for new Nyssa. The... Uh, um, the mass manipulation decks have been look, look, they've looked pretty impressive, as well as um, as well as Soltai Command the Dread Horde with it, just Soltai with Nissa, has been pretty impressive too. I think those are those would be the two that I just think about right away. Oh no, Galta. Alright, well, good hand, opponent. Good hand. You got this one. Yeah, this is over. 
Uh, what could I draw? Like a Mortify? I mean, Mortify, I'm still dead. Shade Blade to it? I don't think so. Yeah, Mono Green Tron. That's a good shell, too. Put should I put a counter on their blast zone there. They just do that last turn and then just activate blast zone this turn. It's lethal. Yeah, they just attack all out like we're pretty dead too. Dang. All right, I don't have any blocks that keep me alive. I had to hope they didn't do that for a little while. Ugin's another card that kills. That does kill Galta. Does kill Galta. Play that instead of Oketra. Blue green Delver. In modern? Like actual Delver Delver? Is that like a standard deck with, I don't know, Terramander instead of Delver? Not, again, not an ideal hand, um, but hopefully, get rid of that box. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have an ideal hand either. We just want to draw our big things. Draw Lyra Dawnbringer. Draw a turn too late. Wow, Growth Walker. Eh, it's really not too late, but it's... It's a respectable turn. I was glad that we had a spell on top that we could keep on top to be able to make Jade Light a 4-3 that can trade with Steel Leaf. I want to save Mortify for Galta.
Giant growth. Makes the big even bigger. That block does mean Kral Harpooner can take out Shalai now. Uh-oh. I will protect the virtue of this world. That's a that's an uh-oh. Behold, nature's true power. Cease this aggression. All right, well, they get to just play every card in their hand. They have infinite mana. So whatever, whatever's in their hand, they get to cast this turn. So we'll know that they have all lands plus whatever they don't, you know, whatever they cast this turn. Crack a memorial. That's a good. That'd be a good sign for us. Okay, good sign. Bad sign. I could have seen them like just not actually fighting there and just having the harpooner block Sarah for the scales. Because the three four wasn't going to kill Nissa, that four loyalty. Harness the elements. Sorry, I kind of like just just playing the harpooner and not. Blocking. Well, I guess I could activate Shalai though. Never mind. Never mind. I I could just activate Shalai. All right. Uh, never mind. Switch. No, it was good to fight. Do they have any tricks to get rid of a Seraph of the Scales here? Yep. There goes the Mortify. Hopefully no Galta. We do have like the Seraph of the Scales death touch though and a lot of life. So, you know, Galta we're still, we still have covered. Covered-ish. At the very least. Yeah, I knew our opponent could have giant growth there. I thought it was pretty likely. But I don't think that means that we just never block, because like the, the they're gonna use that giant growth eventually. Uh 
No. The resplendent angel. Ow. That's game. All right, so 16 life. Five, nine, 12. So we got four life left, so we can get three. We can get this thing. It's just triple double check. Uh, that's 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15, we're at 16. We'll get the Resplendent Angel token as well. Because Wildgrowth Walker gained us six life. All right, 4 0. Oh. Final boss time. Let's get that, get those final boss emotes in the chat. We got our final boss playlist. And here we go. We do have an extra life. So even if we lose this, because, you know, we're playing until we win five or lose two with this event. So even if we lose this match, we'll be able to play uh, one more to get revenge. So, yeah, the so why Abzan with this deck? So basically, we, we need to be playing white for the angels. Um... Our explore package is just one of the very best things to be doing with mid-range creature decks. It's where the green comes in. Also has Shalai's activated ability. And then black gives us Seraph of the Scales. A really good Mythic Angel there. And of course Command the Dreadhorde, which is like the our top end part of our deck. So yeah, Abzan's kind of our perfect color combination here. We got Arclight Phoenix for our final boss. Yep, explore Dreadhorde for the Golgari part and then the Angels for White. Wow. Dubs Electromancer. Discard a land. Land. Okay, radical idea, that's fine. That's good, no phoenixes. So do I want to play Sarah for the skills or Shalai Voice of Plenty? All right, well, they're just going to shock this. That's honestly really not that bad of a trade for us. I think I'm going to go Seraph. Just attacks. Seraph attacks harder. Where we're at, I want the... That's exactly what I want. I want the card that attacks harder. And if they play Crackling Drake here this next turn, which I thought was pretty... Like, that, that, that had a good... 
a good chance of happening to being a, being a crackling drake here. Seraph can attack through a crackling drake. Shall I cannot? Yeah, uh, a Boros or a Naya creature deck? Yeah, uh, I made a Naya feather deck that um, is a lot of fun and, and one that I could certainly see being one that I've played like in, in Mythic and everything and had some success with it and Um, look for look for Naya Feather on the dex page there. This would be from maybe a week ago or so. Reset Arena. All right, good. No dive down. We should have this game. You're welcome. All right. Got game one. Here we go. One more game. Hmm. All right. Don't really have anything for Phoenix. Cast down can kill Drake. I mean, he can kill Phoenix also, but that's not exactly what we want. But maybe killing Drake and killing Electromancer is worth playing it. Um, Ketra's going to be a little slow here. Given my creature's reach with Vivian can actually be pretty important. Shalai just... Shalai matches up well against Arclight Phoenix, but not at all against Lava Coil or Crackling Drake. So I'm going to trim a Shalai. All right, let's go with this. I can see Command the Dread Horde doing some good work for us. And if you want to see me playing that deck too, the Naya deck, you can find the videos on the YouTube channel also. Played that deck a few times. Gideon can exile after a while. You know, it's got to be able to tick up multiple times first. And if they're getting Phoenix back, it may not be able to block for Gideon. But Gideon on the play, though, can be a pretty solid clock. All the was missing was a Wild Growth Walker. All the rest of the Explore creatures here. No phoenixes, please. No, that's bad. Okay. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? For the Fallen. Ooh, I love it. I love trading there. Even if they have like a, you know, two spells plus a shock to kill Vivian, bring back Phoenix and and everything. Love getting that Electromancer out of there. 
All right, normally we'd want to flash in creatures. I guess I could minus and look for some other creature to flash in here. Or I can play Jade Light and tick up on Jade Light. Um... Play Jade Light, tick up on Jade Light. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? So definitely like the 4-3 Jade Light, doesn't die to a shock, and it can actually block a Crackling Drake well. Tear it down! Tear it all down! Wow. Wow. That's an aggressive block right there. Alright, do they have Disdainful Stroke? Hopefully not. Uh, no attacks. Okay, they did. But does this resolve? No. Um... Drop. No land drop. You fight like a city brat. And just play this. No land drop. So just in case we found a shock land there, we could play the shock land in and not have to actually shock ourselves. So it's going to be like that, huh? Let All right, with no blocks. What was lost. Let's have the Phoenix too, but now let's go to attacks first. With no blocks, um, we do get to take out this Sahili. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. All right, four, eight, thirteen. Okay, final boss defeated. 
Five and O oh for the Abs and Angels. This is just a, a really solid backbone to this deck. Um, so we're talking about the the explore creatures. Let me update this for for five and O. Oh. The explore creatures with command the dread horde and all the angels um all the angels just really shore up our matchups against the aggro decks you know resplendent shalai seraph lyra all of those um and then soren works really well with all these creatures so does command the dread horde of course uh yeah this just a really good shell i think it's still pretty rough around the edges like, I think cards in the main deck I don't really like. Just basically like basically the same that I talked about at the beginning. Um, I think the Angel of Grace, Oketra, and Vivian. I'm not real big on those cards. And sideboard. Like, I feel like if we want Arcbow, we should just have Arcbow in the main deck. Like, maybe like Arcbow instead of Vivian, Champion of the Wilds kind of thing. And... I don't think we really need the Carnage Tyrants, or maybe not even the Gideon Black Blades, even though that they helped us against control there. Um, yeah, this is this is definitely a very Todd Stevens deck. I kind of want like a third Command the Dread Horde and like a third Soren, and I want some earlier removal or just interaction. I want some Land War Elves. We can't play everything, of course. These are just things that I want. But obviously we can't have all these. But I would like another Command the Dread Horde, another Soren, want some Land War Elves, um, or Paradise Druid, something like something else like that. Um, maybe Arcbow Main instead of Champion of the Wilds. Even though Champion of the Wilds looked good that very last game. Looked real good that last game, giving our creatures reach. Um... Wouldn't mind some exile removal in here. Um, I don't know. I'm going to kind of sleep on this deck here. Uh, this is a donation deck from Do uh, Donahoe. And I like it. I like it, the backbone of this deck quite a bit. I'm going to kind of sleep on this. I'll send you a message tomorrow with maybe with with like some updates. Um but I like it quite a bit. And I know you're saying you're going to be playing this at an upcoming Grand Prix. And so I'll have that and I'll, I'll have that up on the stream decker for tomorrow. Also. Um, we'll probably play this deck again here pretty soon. Cause I do like, I do like what's going on here with this deck. Um, but I feel like some, some stuff in the sideboard and like these extra five drops here. And maybe Vivian's could be updated. But I like it. Pretty sweet deck here. All right, so that's Abzan Angels. Um, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, please hit that like and